one fall. One fall. Introducing team number one to my left, the team of Leary, Boomer Hatfield, Big Calix, Hermit Crab, and Travis Huckabee, the High. Team of Danger Kid, Tyree Taylor, yeah. Nick Stop, Kirby Wackerman, and the concept Johnny Miyagi. Yeah. It's main event time here on episode 16, the season finale of the room, and we've got a doozy ahead of us. Ten man tag team action. The oh, frustrations ready. of the Limitless Wrestling roster finally boiling over here tonight. And the High don't have the numbers advantage. It's five on five, a fair fight. And it's already a chaotic scene. Gonna be a tough one to follow. Danger Kid firing away in the corner. And the head of the High, Leary, has a response. Johnny Miyagi involved in this match. He's been writing articles on LimitlessWrestling.com throughout the entire series, making his in-ring return here tonight after years away. What a selection by Danger Kid and the rest of this crew. I'm not sure when we're gonna get any order restored here tonight. Kirby Wackerman charging at Big Callis. A tall task for referee Nate Speckman, asking one man to try to contain and control the action. And there's an eye poke from Big Callis. As if I expected any less from the massive man monster. As Johnny Miyagi just hurled into a chair ringside. The wrestlers watching around the ring running for cover as Hermit Crab and Danger Kid squaring off with forearms. Shell to skin connection. Back break from Miyagi. He's come back to life. And a big kick to the ribs from Tyree. Travis Huckabee reeling on the outside. And miraculously, Boomer Hatfield and Kirby Wackerman finding themselves inside the ring. Maybe some semblance of order coming here. The hardest head in the locker room putting it to good use. Big body slam from Wackerman and the flying headbutt as well. What a combination. Kirby back to his corner, there's the tag. One half of the Main State Posse danger kick, and he knows Big Calix quite well. Ducks the clothesline, rolling through, but Calix right back up to his feet, eating a drop kick, courtesy of danger kick. There's the tag, Calix looking frustrated after a flurry from DK. And this doesn't seem like a matchup that favors the head of the high. Big Tyree Taylor, the big boy from Brooklyn, looking to square off with Leary, who told him straight up last week, you've just dug your own grave. What a shoulder tackle from Tyree. Like a goddamn Mack truck. Running over Jeremy Leary. And a little something something for the hive to boot. Driving himself shoulder first into Leary. Trying to squish him in the corner. And there's the tag. Here comes baby girl next step. Chop connecting across the chest. And he sure has his history with Jeremy Leary. These two beating the absolute hell out of each other earlier this season. Just the two count though from referee Nate Speckman. It took Nick Staff putting Leary through a door last time to keep him down. A chop surely not gonna do it. And there's a much needed tag. The pitcher of worlds hitting a drop kick from Baby Girl. Make it two. Nick Staff firing on all cylinders here. Look for a third but Hermit Crab. Able to hold on to the top rope. Looking for a claw. But Nick Staff anticipating it. Catching the claws of Hermit Crab. Uh-oh. Right on the trapezius muscle. But he fires off a back elbow. Taking Crab overhead. And there's a third drop kick. The shell is down. But only a two count. Crab is close to his corner, but just out of reach from any partner. Nick Staff. Controlling the head, and there is the tag. Johnny Miyagi is back inside a Limitless Wrestling ring. Two for the price of one. 
Double drop kick from these two members of Team Limitless. Oh, God. Big forearm to Hermit Crab. Reversing the whip, though. He gets a boot up. Shout out, Jimmy Kick. The flying double axe handle from Miyagi. Uh-oh. Here comes Huckabee. What an uppercut. Leveling Miyagi down. And just like that, the tables have turned back in control as the high here in our episode 16 main event. Oh, good God! A German suplex from Huckabee, folding Miyagi in half. And there's the tag. The head of the high wants a piece of the action, driving his boot into the lower back that I assume has to be injured at this point. Absolutely folded up with that German suplex. And Leary's gonna drop him on the back once again. There's a tag to Big Callis. These five pick it away at Johnny Miyagi. His arms pinned down to the canvas. Everybody out of the pool! What a splash from Callis! But it still doesn't mean victory for the high! He's laughing about it. What a maniac. What an absolute monster. Bringing Miyagi back to his feet. And there's the tag. The pop flying Lucha Baseball Boomer Hatfield. Now up to bat. Now looking to pick away at the concept. Reeling on the ropes. Oh, man. Stiff shots from Boomer Hatfield. But Miyagi right in his face and looking for more. There's one of his own. Firing off the boomer! Oh, but a chop caught it. And there's a drop kick! Oh no! Tied in the ropes! A precarious position! And now you can see Team Limitless! The frustration's boiling over! But they're just making it worse on Miyagi! Referee not seeing it! Big Calix getting a piece of the action as well! Cover! But there's no referee! No, Miyagi gets the shoulder up. The referee was caught with Team Limitless, so actually, their distraction of the referee came back to help him in the end. I'm not sure Miyagi was getting the shoulder up. And you gotta wonder at this point, was he a good selection by Danger Kid, Tyree, Nick Staff, and Kirby Wackerman? Body slam from Leary. It's a huge risk to bring someone into this with not much ring experience over the past few years. But Miyagi, passionate as can be about destroying the high, drag walk elbow. But only two once again. The fight continues for the concept. But God damn, does he need to get to his corner. He needs to get a tag. The high, cutting the ring in half, just picking him apart piece by piece. Oh, and there's a shot to the exposed ribs. Miyagi can't even stand. And that looks like a close fist. Trying to fight back. Wow. Oh, come on. Bladen poked to the eyes. Referee Nate Speckman admonishing Leary. I don't think he cares. Grabbing hold of the hair of Johnny Miyagi. What the hell is he thinking here? Another impact on the back. Able to evade the impact and make the tag. Here comes Baby Girl. Up the second rope with a drop kick. Close line to Leary. Back elbow. And he's got the head of the hive rocking and rolling. Uh oh. Caught with a kick though. Jeremy Leary pops the shoulder up, flopping like a flounder out of that pinning combination. What the hell is a Kirby Copter? I can't say I've ever seen this one before. Nick Staff getting in position, elevating Kirby Wackerman and using him as a weapon. Twisting him around as the hive continues to come in the ring. Boomer Hatfield set down. There goes Huckabee. Herman Crab gets popped as well. Uh oh. Big Callis catching the propeller mid rotation. This isn't good. And ripping Kirby right into the midsection. 
abduction of baby girl, splitting him in half, and the massive man monster looking to capitalize, screaming in the face of Wackerman, and now restricting the airway. A very bad position for Team Limitless right now. Only Danger Kid and Tyree standing on the apron. Miyagi's out on the floor, as is Baby Girl and Kirby Wackerman fighting for his life. Kalix has a goozle. Choke slam to Wackerman. Cover. Only two. Stomp right to the abdomen and now directing traffic. There's the tag to Boomer Hatfield. Uh oh, we've seen this one before. Stomp to the back of Kirby. Turns him over. Oh, good God! Absolutely crushing Kirby, but still just a two count. The old diaper check right there from Kalix and Boomer. And now the elbow drops, reining in. Driving the point of the elbow right in the sternum. But Kirby continues to fight on. A two count once again from Nate Speckman. And there's the tag. Here comes the golden grappler, Travis Huckabee, looking to pick apart Kirby. Oh no, look at the way his foot is twisted. Putting his entire body weight on the inside of the knee. And drops a knee on the inside of the leg. Kirby in a bad way, and Travis isn't anywhere close to done. Oh no, tying up the legs, looking to turn Kirby over, and it could end via submission right here. Look on the side, Boomer Hatfield, ripping with all his might at the ring ropes, keeping him away from Kirby, just out of his reach, but he's got it. He's got the bottom rope, the outstretched arm, just making it there. But Travis Huckabee loves to focus on the hand, the fingers, and the arm as he drills it into the ring canvas. Gonna be tough for Kirby to execute any offense with a bum arm or a bad hand. And now just a blatant disrespect. Travis Huckabee slapping him on both sides of the head as he's got the arm in his possession. Danger Kid, Nick Staff, trying to motivate their partner to make it back to Team Limitless's corner, to make the tag, and to get a fresh man into this contest. Shot to the abdomen, but Travis just bending that arm backwards. Come on, Kirby. Come on. Kirby trying to break the grip of the Golden Grappler. Headbutt connected. Can he make the tag? There it is. Tyree Taylor, now the legal man for Team Limitless. And here come the body shots. Good gracious. Splitting Travis in half. Shoulder first in the corner. What elevation on the kick. Kobe. See you later, Travis Huckabee. Tyree Taylor sending it to another area code. Oh, we've seen this before. That pick sent Tom. One of the calling cards of the Main State Posse. Oh, but Boomer Hatfield with a hit and run double stomp. Right to the back of Danger Kid. Breaking up the cover and potentially saving the match for the high. Tag has been made. Close line from Hermit Crack. Taking Danger Kid off his feet. And just like that, the high working as such a cohesive unit. Step up in Zaguri from DK. Right to the side of the dome. Dropping Hermit Crack. And there's the tag. Tyree Taylor right back into this contest. Quick tags is exactly what Team Limitless needs. Oh boy. Oh boy. The big men square it off. Oh, way to spoil the fun. Jeremy Leary behind Tyree's back. Connecting with a shot. And it's chaos all over again. All hell breaking loose in our episode 16 main event. The season finale of The Road here on IWTV. Leary firing away at Danger Kid. There's Baby Girl. So tough to keep track of. Calix and Tyree on the floor. 
Which team can find a way to get an advantage? Danger Kid with a four-off. Just sent nearly into our cameraman. There's Johnny Miyagi. He got caught. And slammed down to the floor by Big Galax. Good gravy. Miyagi from the heavens. Oh, no. And two knees to the jaw, baby girl. Boomer Hatfield looking to fly. Hurls himself over the top rope. Taking out members of Team Limitless and the High. You gotta wonder, is the risk worth the reward? Huckabee stirring on the floor. But inside the ring, there's Danger Kid. Suicide dive like he was shot out of a cannon. Taking down everyone on the floor. But noticeably, one man is missing. You can see a lot of members of the Hive, a lot of members of Team Limitless. But there's Big Callix, standing tall inside the ring. What the hell is this monster thinking? No, you're kidding me. The massive man monster takes flight. Suicide dive from Big Callix, and he's feeling himself. Grabbing hold of Danger Kid, throwing him back to Hermit Trap. Fisherman suplex there at DK. Looking for a cover here, but Hermit Trap, not the legal member of the Hive. Good on referee Nate Speckman somehow. Amidst the chaos, amidst the madness, amidst the multiple fights going on between these two teams, giving some leeway and keeping track of what's going on. The Limitless Wrestling roster being represented by Team Limitless have been waiting so long to get a fair fight with this group of heathens. My goodness, a back chop from Big Callix. Like a skillet crashing down on your spine. Body shots from DK. A kick connected. Ducks the clothesline. Usaki Nick dropping the massive man monster. Boomer Hatfield with a quick body slam. And looking to take Baby Girl down to the canvas. Back elbow from Nick Stapp. CD from Stapp drilling Boomer into the canvas. But a flatliner from Leary. Oh no! Spiking Nick Stapp right on the back of his head. Leary twisting him down with a gnarly landing. Missile headbutt from Kirby. Putting the head to good use. Oh, but there's a headbutt from Travis. Uh-oh, we saw that last week on Ashley Fox. But a pump handle slam. I think Travis's boot connecting with Leary on the way down. Choke slam from Herman Crab. Come on, big bitch. Uh-oh. Yuranagi from Tyree Taylor. What strength on this dude. And here's the face-off we've been waiting for. The big boys, Tyree and Kallix. Double clothesline center of the ring. Both men cleaned off their feet. What force behind the clotheslines, what an impact. And Danger Kid, back inside the ring. Slowly but surely, crawling to Team Limitless's corner. And look who's there. The fifth member, the concept Johnny Miyagi, meeting Herman Crab inside the ring. Vertical suplex sends him down. And he's pointing at the top rope. The concept known for his double stop throughout his independent wrestling career. And I think he's heading up, looking to put this one away for Team Limitless here tonight. Crashing down on the sternum of Hermit Crab. Oh, but Jeremy Leary yanking the referee out just for extra security, just in case Hermit Crab wasn't gonna kick out. He was worried right there that it was all over for the high. And maybe Miyagi looking to end this via submission, tying up Hermit Crab inside the ring. All the while, 
The Hive and Team Limitless battling on the floor. Nick Stapp face first into the steel ring post. But Herman Crack able to extend a limb, get it on that bottom rope, forcing Miyagi to release the hole. And I don't think the concept realizes it yet, but all other members of his team are down on the floor. Travis, Leary, making their way back in. This isn't good at all. Johnny Miyagi, the last man standing right now for Team Limitless. Spine Buster to Miyagi. And they're sure as hell not done. Dual headbutts from Travis and Boomer. Alex taking his turn. Black Hole Slam! Nearly threw the goddamn ring! And now Herman Crab trying to bend Miyagi in half! And the Hive take it home! Danger Kid tried to reach and stop his hand from tapping out, but he couldn't make it in time. From day one, the Hive said they were here to make an impact in Limitless Wrestling. And they sure as hell have done that here tonight. Defeating Team Limitless in our main event, five on five in our season finale. What an explosive ending to our season two finale here on IWTV. Thanks for watching The Road. Thanks for tweeting, supporting this series. You keep it alive, and I'm happy to report. We'll be back with you later this month, Wednesday nights, right here on IWTV.